Welcome inside the huddle. We are winding down the season as we head to Hamilton, New York to take on the Colgate Raiders. Always a tough game to go up to Andy Kerr Stadium, but Lafayette, I think, has a couple advantages. Number one, coming off a big win a couple weeks ago against Georgetown, a win they desperately needed. Number two, they have the ability right now to go back to a place where they had success in 2014, coming away with a win 19-13. to They are going to have to deal with the read option, and what I talk about all the time with Colgate, the best quarterback in the league, Jake Melville, who runs the read option. They don't dabble in it. They run it. So up front, Lafayette did a great job against Georgetown moving their front, having their front get some penetration up the field, whether it was slanting or whether it was pinching inside, everybody bringing things down, making the ball spill to the outside. They're going to have to do the same thing this week against phase one. Phase one is going to take Kenyon Washington, one of the running backs, along with James Holland, number 22. So those two guys, you must stop phase one, which is that inside zone read game inside. Try to spill things to the outside. The nose and the tackle, take on the double teams, allow guys like Michael Root and uh, Hinchin to flow to the football. So do not allow double teams with linemen up to the second level. That can be trouble. That can be Kenyon Washington and James Holland into the secondary. So phase one, Control the tackle, the tackle box with the inside zone game. Phase two, the most difficult part. As he comes off, this end crashes down. Got to keep his shoulder square in case Melville pulls it and gets to the outside. Have the ability to slow it down and get some help over the top and from your secondary against the quarterback in the phase two. Phase three is the play action pass. The pressure now lies on the corners. The young corners Lafayette has, as well as Philip Parham, has been playing fantastic. And that new safety back there, he's going to have to come up. Yasir Thomas is going to have to make some plays. So stop phase one, the inside running game. That makes them go to phase two. The pull, whether it's this side setting the running back here and Melville pulling it to the outside, Jerry Poe, nobody better in the last two weeks in the Patriot League than him. So stop phase one, phase two. Make them throw the football, something Jake Melville doesn't want to do. A couple of years ago, 2014, Lafayette put up a huge win. 19 to 16 after being down 13 to nothing, they came back. Blake Searfoss, unbelievable. Our wide receivers in that game, one wide receiver uh, had 11 catches, and you remember Ross Sherman, he had 10 catches. 21 catches between two guys out of the backfield, down the field. Those are things Lafayette's going to have to do. Remember, hold on to the football. 159 is the average after you get a first down that you can take off the clock. Possession, time of possession, limit the possessions for their offense, stay on the field, and limit those possessions. And Lafayette comes home with a win heading into the big one, 152.